anything about these polygons? Anything? Have you heard of Euler characteristic? Euler.
triangle on a sphere actually. How does the sphere is going to look like? So imagine that you draw okay something that's it. And this simply draw. Get the triangle. So how does the triangle is going to look like? So the triangle on a sphere is going to look like something like These, these angles are, say, call them alpha 1, alpha 2, and maybe alpha 3 angles. Okay. Now, what we can prove in spherical geometry is that if you want to compute the area of this triangle, what we have to do. So, one fact that we know for sure is that these three angles do not sum up to 180 degrees. So, it becomes more than 180 degrees. So if you want to find, so what you can prove is that if you find the, find the area of this triangle, so what you have to do is that sum these angles and see how much they differ from the pi. That's what the area is. Okay. We can prove it. Area. We can prove it. How's that? So if you want to find the area of the spherical triangle, so what you can do, sum up these angles and subtract them from roughly five. We can prove this. How about if I draw now? Okay, seems weird, but that's what the truth is. <laughs> Polyhedral. 
consider a polyhedron. So you have a point and you have a polyhedron. Okay, so I'm not, I'm not assuming that these are five lines, these, these can be more than this, but I'm just basically randomly. And I'm, I'm seeing the top view off of the polyhedron. So, if, so I'm seeing it from the top. So this, this point is like the peak actually. Okay? So, so all these triangles are like the sides. So you have number of triangles, you have put them together, okay, differently, and you have made this parabola. Okay. So how many are these? I'm assuming that these are an angle. Okay. So the angles, for example, these angles are same. Say same. Let's, let's call it alpha one prime. Alpha 1 prime, alpha 2 prime, alpha 3 prime, okay. Okay. alpha 1 prime, alpha 2 prime, alpha 3 prime, so on and so forth, and alpha k prime, and prime, whatever. Okay? By the way, what Euler, even before Gauss, asked a fundamental question, he said, if you have a polyhedra, what is the total curvature of this polyhedron? How can I compute? So, one thing is pretty, you know, pretty obvious. So, if I, if I, for example, take this pyramid. So, this pyramid has how many faces? So, three faces, right? So, if I take one face and move normal on it on face. If I move normal, the normal is not going to change any direction. So the curvature is zero. Okay. How about on these edges actually? Edges the be which the deal be over. Zero curvature. Face is zero curvature. So the only point where you can have some curvature is this peak actually around it. Are you getting the point? That's the that's the point where you can. So in other words, you know, if you are on this polyhedra, okay, top of the polyhedra. So if you are, on, if I'm on this plane, you know, no curvature, no curvature even on the line factor. So the only point that you're going to have some this curvature is basically this one. If you are moving, okay. But that <coughs> curvature is basically different to angular. Okay, it's a different. There is a curvature, obviously. There is, so if you are moving from, but it's a, it's a, it's not something smooth actually. It's sharp. It's very sharp. No? Very sharp. Anyway, so in other words, these points are going to be the key points where the things are changing actually. In the spatial. I'm sorry. No, no, no. So what, what, what Das assumed is that okay, maybe it looks like you know. Things with the edges with you, but just see it topologically. So I can I can see it I can see it as smooth as well. Anyway, so what you do the, on on each of these plane, take a point and draw the normal, draw a normal, draw a normal, and join these normals. Okay, and join these normals. Okay. This is kind of a this is kind of a plane containing the tips of the normal circle. Okay. And throw this onto sphere. This top plane actually, that you have to normal, just your part of the color as a pillar section. So what you're gonna get? You're gonna get the polygonal region here. So, in other words, if you want to compute the curvature around B, 
That's what the cost is. So if you want to compute the total curvature around P on this what you call polygonal. So what you need to, what you can do is that take this region and compute this area. So it's like something analog there actually. Compute the curvature of the thing that you want to compute the curvature and you know throw it onto a sphere and see how much area it covers on the sphere. So see the spherical area of real life, okay. of polygon. Thank you. 